Hi everybody, so I've got a few things to show you today. So I have stocked up on some more of my Distressed Oxide inks. So I did um, show this a little bit on my one of my last craft-alongs and I think someone said about do I do swatches and this one here is the one that you can download from the Ranger website and I just popped the colours onto cardstock and then used a circle punch to punch them out and then I put them on here. So this is exactly how many I have now, I've already swatched all of these ones and I prefer the new one now, they've updated this because it's got the new colours on, you can see the speckled egg there and what I like is that now they've done it in like a rainbow order so I can see like all my oranges and reds together, the greens into the blues, purples into browns and so on and it's just much easier. I love that I've got this whole kind, that was quite satisfying to have that whole row complete there um, but it gives me a really nice um, view now of all those different blues that I've got and uh, I can clearly see what else I need to get. So yeah, there's the new Crackling Campfire as well, that's the next one that they've just launched. So um, I guess there's room there for some more, but I can probably just, I'll just write in those ones at the bottom. But yeah, so it's, it's on there, it's all free, you just download it. And you can also do that with the Harmony on the Crafters Companion website. So that's my Quick Dry, which is my other favorite pads that I really like. Um, I've got these ones to get. Um, these are all sets and these are perfect for, obviously they're quick dry and they're great for layering stamps and you just get a really nice crisp image anyway. So you see me use those a lot and then I've got my oxides for doing techniques and, um, and other things. So the colours that I picked up was Old Paper, Forest Moss, Milled Lavender, Sponge Sugar, Rusty Hinge, that's lovely, Tea Dye, Peeled Paint, Hickory Smoke and Salty Ocean. The tea dye is another good one for distressing. I always usually go for the vintage photo, um, but the tea dye is really nice. I've used brush corduroy as well, actually. That's another good one for, um, you know, distressing your pages if you're doing like mini albums and things like that. So yes, yeah, so they're just some new colors. Like I said, I've already put them in there. And if I can remember, I will link to the Ranger website um, for the downloads here. Um, so you can swatch yours if you want to. Also, this stuff I got from Craft Stash, so I'll be able to link that for you. Then I picked up some more of the quick dry. So I got the lemon tonic, tonic, the grasshopper, fryer brown, and plum jam. And again, I have filled those in now, so because I needed that. It's lovely actually. That lemon yellow is a real true, you know, really nice yellow. It actually, still looks a bit mustardy in my video there, but it's really bright, lovely sunshine yellow. So I'm glad I've got those um, now, especially again when I do the layering, stamping, and stuff. So four more of the Harmony Spectra Noir Quick Dry ink packs. Then I picked up these. I was bullied to get these by Rachel. <laughs> it's alright Rachel, I love them. But she told me, she said, you've got to get these, they're going to sell out. Um, so uh, again, if you've been following me for some time, you know I really love the Bright Rosa collection. I don't think they're doing it anymore. I think they're just selling it through now. Um, but the band dies. So I've got the snowflake band, I've got the sunflower band, I've got the flower band, I've got the heart band. What other one is there? The butterfly band. They're beautiful, very large dies. You can do pop-up features with them. You can have them as belly bands. You can cut them out, you know, so it's just this lovely big, in this case, snowflake. And I'll just give you an idea, you can see, that's the band there. So you can see just how big that die is. Pop it on my hand there, it's really large. But then you get all of your other dies here and they are beautiful. I am glad I've got them. So you can see, look at all the detail. I can't wait to start using these for Christmas makes. Because snowflakes, again, they're always so different. And that one there's like got hearts all in the middle of it. Look at all that detail. So you can cut these two big ones, will cut into this, so you can have two different designs. So you can see that design there, and then that design there. So that's nice that you've got the two, or you just have these on their own. I mean, you can make Christmas decorations. That's a really nice size Christmas decoration. Die cut them a few times in a nice like white glitter card. You could pop it in someone's card as a little gift, especially if they live a, you know, far away or somewhere, you know, you're not gonna see them. And then you've got this one here, and you can layer these up because it's the, that one's the, got the hearts, so that will be similar to that one. But you could do something different, you know, in the centre of that one, like so. And then you've got these smaller ones here, and even that one, which would look nice, you know, to kind of layer up. And you could do another detail in the middle of that one. So they are gorgeous. I'm glad I've got them. 
and because I got that one I had to get the border so with all the bands you get a border as well so when I got the sunflower band you have a sunflower border when I got the heart band you get a heart border and so on so so this one here it looks so pretty do you know what this would look lovely on my inside out card so when you turn the card inside out this would pop up because I imagine that's going to sit, sit quite nicely let's just see the width of that one you're looking point to point just over five so that would sit nicely because you've got these you know you could put a few more on the ends there those look like the same yeah so they will layer up so you can you could do a snowflake wreath because you could do two of those and then fill in you know and layer up with these other ones you've got that small one there that one's beautiful really nice and then these bits here I wonder what those, I guess they're, well they must be for the centres, I can't quite work out why you would need those, so I need to have a look. And on the Craft Stash website, if you go onto Bright Rosa and click on the thing, you'll get all the samples that the design teams would have done, um, and Paula who, who designed this, she's got her, you know, makes on there as well, so you can see. So I need to have a look, so there they are there, maybe they're just meant to be snowflakes. Maybe that's what it is, because they look like snowflakes when you see them cut there, but you can see all the patterns. In fact, I should have showed that one there, because you can see the pattern. That's that heart one. That's really nice. Oh, I see. So that's the the outline, and then that's the background. So that would layer up on top of that, and then on top of that. And that's the, th the good thing with all of these band dies, is there's so many ways to put them together. So... Yeah, tons of inspiration there. So yeah, really pleased. Thank you, Rachel, for making me buy them. <laughs> okay, a couple more things still from Craft Stash. So I picked up some more of the Hook and Loop. These are, I really like these ones. It's by the Dot and Dab range, which is by Trimcraft. 20 pieces, and these are the 20 millimeter. So you're two centimeter, really handy. I use them on a lot of my gift bags. And then I picked up some of these foam pads. So I thought I'd give something different ago they weren't very expensive at all um usually i get the ones from the pound shop but i haven't really been going into the shops so i just try to stay away really so i thought i could you know go for these instead so we'll see what they're like two millimeter deep 12 mil by tw yeah 12 millimeter by 12 millimeter 80 medium square pads and you you know i'm always using foam pads in some form on my cards I just like the dimension that they give so these are the hunky dory ones they're permanent and uh, yeah I've got quite a few there to keep me going so I will let you know what I think of those and then I saw this stamp set and I just loved it it's just got such a I love the font I love that they're three big stamps they have that kind of circus feel to them so I thought they'd work well with the circus papers but also on their own and um, you've got happy birthday to you congratulations you rule you really did it this time, yes, good for you, way to go. I just love that that's all in one stamp. And then this one here, you're invited to a celebration. I think that's really nice as well. But it, it was this main one really, the happy birthday to you. You know I love making my birthday cards. And um, I just thought it was really nice. It's by Inca, Inca, oh God, here we go. Inca, what is that? Incad, Incadu, Inca, do, Inca, do. <laughs> Well, the sun's coming in. I've just looked at my monitor. Didn't even realise. How do you say it? Inca di, inca do, inca do, inca kadi, inca kadu. Someone will know. Anyway, so yeah, <laughs> that was from Craft Stash, and um, oh yeah, just think it's really nice. So you'll see that feature in cards very soon. Then I've got the new magazine by Simply Cards and Papercraft. So this one dropped through my door not too long ago. I actually done the inspiration. So this is my card on the front. I was super chuffed and I messaged Becky and I said thank you so much for putting my card on the front cover. You never know where they're going to use them. Um, so it's always a joy to see one as the main feature. I absolutely loved making this rocker card. Excuse that glare, I've got lovely sunshine coming through now. And um, I just loved it, loved colouring it all. And also I've done this one here. The bag, so straight away you can see you know this is an autumn um, themed magazine got the beautiful teals which is one of my favorite colors lots of golds and oranges and it's just really really nice and the stamp set you get actually a really nice amount in this one you get this pine cone die which is a tonic studio pine cone okay and then you get this stamp set here so i can try and get out of that glare let me just see if i can take the sun away <laughs> There we go, that's a bit better. Sorry about that, but now you can see all of these wonderful stamps. Really, really good. These, if you like to make silhouette cards and you like to just stamp in black, solid images, these are great, the trees. They're really, really nice. And you like your sprigs here. 
you've got your leaves, really nice sentiments, thankful, grateful, blessed, autumn leaves are falling, thanks, autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let go, of, to let things go, many happy returns, just a note, shorter days and setting sun set the stage for autumn fun, my favourite colour is autumn and happy birthday. So that one there, I just basically stamped and coloured loads of all of these kind of leaves and things here. And then this one is this stamp here. And um, I stamped that in a very light colour, so I wanted to get that kind of no line colouring effect. So there's no black. If you notice with all this, there's no black ink stamped at all. I've stamped everything, like the, the green leaves there, I stamped them in a green, um, just so it gives you a much softer finish and um, it was really great fun to make. I'll show you a couple of examples inside without giving too much away, just using the pine cone die. You can see this one here with the tree and then they've stamped the leaves, which is that one there, all on the tree. And then you've got a few where they're falling off, so it gives the look of, you know, it's autumn, the leaves are falling, and you can see there the pine cone along the bottom. It's a nice size, I'll just measure that one for you. You're looking at one and a half by one and a quarter. So it's, it was, yeah, it is, it's really pretty. So that's those. Um, I'll show you my feature because then that's not, because I don't like to ever give too much away for those that do receive them because um, it's a nice surprise. But most subscribers would have got this by now. But there the makes there. So I've done the box card, which is on my channel. Um, this one's a slightly different size, if I remember. Um, really nice. And there's the rocker card. There's that bag. Then I've done this little kind of, decorative wrap to go around some chutneys or jams just as nice ideas for when you're giving gifts also done this box here with the little metal handle so it's just really showing off those stamps and um, you know all the detail in them again there's a close-up that's all heat embossed in the center there of the rocker card there's that bag close up so you can see I've used the trees stamps in gold embossing powder and then I've just done the because there's, there's tiny little leaves here so you can just have them kind of scattered around. And there's that acorn. So I backed it with teal card and then I cut it again in gold. I also done this bottle, which would have been inside here. So that fits these miniature bottles. So um, that was just a wine bottle that I just took the label off, done this wrap with the gold heat embossed sprigs. So it was this one, no, it was this one here. And then again, I've done a little cluster with all of the bits and pieces and there's the acorn again popped a little tag on it and then there's that jam jar preserve jar close up which looks really nice and then there's the box there and I'll show you how to do that one so yeah and there's that Alice and Teal again I do need to try and get a little bit of that I think so it's a, yeah if you like your stamp sets it's a 30 piece stamp set plus you get that die as well so that is issue 208 of Simply Cards and Papercraft and then I don't think I shared this apologies if I have but it's the Joanna Sheen Again, I done the, um, you know, some of the inspiration for this. That's why I get sent it. Um, but I couldn't remember if it was done in my last, you know, couple of, what did I get? But I don't think I have. But so I'm sharing it. It's it's on the Craft Sash website. It's the latest one. This is issue 108. And um, I'll just show you what you get inside of these for anybody that's not familiar with the box kits. So you get your magazine. You get your papers, which are inside the magazine. You get your stamp set, which is this one here. Really, really pretty. You get this lovely embossing folder. And then you get these large edger dies. So it's two dies there. You've got the bottom edge, you've got the top edge, and then you've got the detail. And then you've got these corner ones as well. So you get a lot of dies there, all of those bits and pieces, the papers. And then just to give you a rough idea of the kind of thing you can make with them, here's all the papers here, the lovely, all like lace effects and stuff. Very pretty. I've done these ones here. So a lot of these you'll recognise. And um, it was really good fun to do. So I've got the twist and fold, the TP card. That was a reverse easel. That was a bridge fold. And that was a pop-out gate fold. So you can see that gorgeous edge die which I've done there and I've done on the bottom of that easel. And then the corner die, you can see that's how it looks there. Again, very delicate lace look. And then I just use lots of the you know, images that you get here. So these lovely big pieces that you can cut out, little tags. Fussy cut some flowers there, that was really pretty. 
and then this one here I just done some stamping so that was a heart and a heat embossed you can see the lavender there which is a really pretty dye and then there's some butterflies that I fussy cut so it was a really like it's a very delicate very lace themed this time you know all the background papers have got the lace running through and stuff but that's you know just to give you an idea on how the, the dyes look kind of the color palette as well it's lots of nice soft pink soft purples and so on but that's the Joanna Sheen and that's the number is that number uh sorry that's the Craft Essential Series issue 108. And then lastly, I I did pop to the works. So I was, this was a while ago, and they just started putting all their Christmas stuff out. And I thought, these are so cute, really nice, because I want to start doing a few little Christmas makes. But obviously I've got my own collection coming out. Um, and I know that Trimcraft have got their Christmas collections, which I'm going to want to get my hands on, but I do want to do a few little bits right now. So I thought I'm going to get this here and it's so, so fun. I love it. So I got this pine garlic. So I like cutting these down and um, just using them as like little sprigs and stuff just to add some texture and decoration to the cards or the 3D projects, whatever I choose to do. I thought these were super cute. They're a pound for three little wooden Santas. I just think he's adorable. I love his tiny feet and his little hand there. I just think very cute and he's there as well then I got this two pack of wooden Merry Christmas some of these can be a bit naff but these look really well made they're nicely finished there's no like rough edges or anything like that and um, they've been coated you know evenly with that red and uh, yeah just thought they were really nice and then these here you get six and they're little glitter Christmas trees you just see there again they've got the adhesive little pads there I probably would stick them using some hot glue but for a pound, I thought, you know, they're nice. They're all green. Some of them are just flipped over. And then the paper pad, get out there, just so there's no glare. I just thought it was really nice to be drawn to the stripes. And I was drawn to this one here. And uh, the Christmas trees are cute as well. You've got your plaid. Holly leaves. That's a nice one with the little toadstools as well mixed in. You've got your robin. You've got Santa's hat and the sprigs. And these are, are they double-sided? Oh, they are. They're double-sided. I didn't think they would be. Um... You can see there, the trees are cute, Santa, and that's the end, you can see them all there again as well, and those are 24 sheets of 8 designs, double sided cardstock, 180 GSM, acid free. So I just thought it was a nice little set, there's probably more to it, um, there's, you know, this was probably now about a week and a half ago, so they've probably got some more in. Um, so I will have a look if I do venture back in there. The works is always good. You can get this online as well, but it's only UK only, I believe. Um, I don't think they've set up international delivery yet. I will link it all below. But again, these are great things. I know lots of people like to send like friend mail. You know, if you've got a budget, these are good. I mean, so you're looking at two, three, four, five, six pound, um, you know, and you've got some really lovely things here to make some great cards. So yeah, look out for me using that. It'll probably be during my Facebook Live because I've got some Christmas card ideas that I want to start sharing. Okay, so that's everything that I've got to show you. Um, I have a couple of deliveries due. I thought one of them might have come today, actually, and I could have popped it in with this one, but it's not. So um, I'll probably have another What Did I Get next week. Just starting to stock up on a few things that now I've organised my craft room. I've got some gaps and some things that I think actually I need. So um, I'll be sharing them over the coming weeks. But yeah, everything I've got here, I'll try and link below. And I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.